Overview of Thoracic Lymph Node Anatomy Accurate lymph node sampling is important to determine N0, N1, N2, or N3 disease. Correct staging is critical as it dictates therapy. Mediastinal lymph nodes are indicated with single digits, also called N2 and N3 nodes. Hyalur and intrapulmonary lymph nodes are indicated by double digits. On the ipsilateral side of a lesion, they are N1 nodes, and on the contralateral side, they are N3 nodes. N0 represents no lymph node involvement. N1 represents ipsilateral regional lymph node involvement with levels 10 to 14. N2 represents ipsilateral regional lymph node involvement with levels 2 through 9. N3 represents contralateral regional lymph node involvement with levels 2, 4, 8, 9, and 10 to 14. Thoracic lymph node anatomy as it pertains to EBUS TBNA. EBUS TBNA procedure should always begin with the highest stage lymph node station. For a right-sided pulmonary nodule, the contralateral lymph node stations would be on the left, representing N3 lymph nodes. EBUS surveillance would begin with the left-sided lymph nodes and would then move to the N2 right paratracheal levels 2 and 4 and subcarinal level 7 lymph node stations. Station 2 describes a higher paratracheal lymph nodes. The right side is separated from the left by the left lateral border of the trachea. That is to say that lymph nodes located immediately anterior to the trachea are right paratracheal lymph nodes. The inferior border of 2L is the superior border of the aortic arch. If you were to draw a transverse line through the aortic arch to the right side, this would also define the inferior border of the 2R station. Station 4L is located at approximately 9 o'clock in the distal trachea. The upper border of station 4 is the transverse plane of the aortic arch. The inferior border of 4L is the superior margin of the left pulmonary artery. The characteristic appearance of 4L is that of a lymph node bordered cranially by the aorta and caudally by the left PA. Station 4R is located between 12 and 3 o'clock in the distal trachea, approximately 1 to 2 centimeters above the main carina. The inferior border of the 4R lymph node station is the azygous vein, which is critical to identify, as this landmark separates station 4R, which is an N2 lymph node, from station 10R, which is an N1 lymph node, assuming an ipsilateral peripheral lesion. Here we identify the 4R lymph node with the superior vena cava anteriorly. The azygous vein is located caudal to the 4R node, Station 5 is often called the AP window node and is not accessible by EBUS TBNA. Station 5 is lateral to 4L and is located beyond the ligamentum arteriosum, which is not visible by ultrasound. Station 5 should not be confused with station 4L, as these may not be differentiated in radiology reports. Access the right main stem bronchus by rotating the scope to face the left main stem bronchus and then advancing. In using this technique, the station 7 lymph node will be immediately visible. The same technique can be used on the left side. The inferior border of level 7 on the left is the superior border of the left lower lobe bronchus, and on the right side is the inferior border of the bronchus intermedius. Here you can see the relationship between the 4R lymph node, the azygous vein, and the 10R lymph node stations. Station 10R is immediately caudal to the azygous vein. Endoscopically, this lymph node is proximal to the right upper lobe takeoff. Station 10L is immediately caudal to the pulmonary artery on the left side and is proximal to the left upper lobe takeoff. Station 11RS is immediately caudal to the right upper lobe takeoff. Station 11RI is located immediately caudal to the right middle lobe takeoff, looking medially. Station 11L is accessed by advancing the ebus scope into the proximal portion of the left lower lobe bronchus,